Hi, I was just calling you a chicken. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm good. I was calling London a chicken nugget. London is um, a, a kid that I worked with last year, and she likes to call everyone chicken nugget. So I just call her chicken nugget, too, because I don't know. It's a thing. Anyway, we're going to talk about you and your business in just a little bit. Everything Kai, hello. Thank you for joining us. Before we get to all those questions and details and activities and stuff, why don't you just introduce yourself, Allison, and tell these people what you do. So my name is Allison Zeller. I'm 17 years old, and I have ADHD, and I've always been very creative. I've always been doodling and drawing, and I used to sell things when I was younger, and I wanted to start a business. So when COVID hit around then, I was like, why don't I take my designs and turn it into a business? So I started doodling and got my designs and my products, and this took off. Nice. So you just take your art, which um, a lot of it is like doodle art, is how you describe it? Yeah. And you take that art and you put it on stuff like clothes or bags or phone cases. Yeah. Right? Awesome. I think that's so cool. Um, we're going to talk a little bit more about what you do, and you're going to even teach us a few things. Hello, Kid Everest. Thanks for joining us. You're going to teach us a little bit about what you do. But first, a little fun for everyone so we can kind of get to know each other a little bit. I got three this or that questions for you guys, all right? So you guys that are watching in the audience, these questions are for you too. We want to see your answers in the comments, all right? But first, Allison will answer, and then I'll answer, and then we'll go check out the comments. First question, topic is ice cream. Vanilla or chocolate? Vanilla. Vanilla all the time? Yeah. All the time. You know, I'm with you. Vanilla, straight vanilla every time. I'm not a fan of chocolate at all. I'm a little bit curious what people viewing are, are going to say, but vanilla all the way. Tell me, what's your favorite topping? Gummy bears. <gasps> okay, that, that threw me. I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. So vanilla ice cream and you put gummy bears on top. Yes. And that's it. That makes your day. That makes my day. That makes my world. Interesting. So I'm a little bit different. I'm all about the vanilla. All I need is some rainbow sprinkles on top, and I'm perfect. I'm golden. I'm looking in the comments now. All right, we got a little chocolate. Some people are on the fence. They can't decide. I can understand that. Gummy bears. That's new, man. I never had gummy bears on ice cream. That must be like some new, new stuff that the kids are doing these days. <laughs> all right, second this or that. Topic is science fiction. Star Trek. Or Star Wars? That's hard for me since I only started Star Trek not that long ago. But I gotta say Star Wars at this point. Ah, okay. Star Wars. So you said Star Trek. They only started recently? So I only started watching it. Like, ah, <laughs> all right. So you're less experienced with Star Trek. Yeah. Got it. All right. I'm curious what people in the comments are going to say. Um, personally... I actually cannot get down with Star Wars. I don't I don't know why. It's just like, maybe it's just the generation I'm from. I'm all about Star Trek. I used to watch Star Trek with my mom when I was a little kid. I don't know. Star Wars didn't really do it for me. Although The Mandalorian was pretty cool. I will say that. All right. Yeah, I definitely see some Star Wars in the comments. I'm 44 and I always did gummy bears. <laughs> I've been doing it since I was I just missed the boat on the gummy bears because I'm all about the sprinkles. Star Trek, Star Wars, neither. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Not everybody's into sci-fi. I accept that. Star Wars, Star Trek. All right, we got a nice little split there. Okay, last one, and then we'll get to, to some other things. This is school-related. The topic is school. Math and science or history language arts? History language arts. Ah, history language arts, okay. I, I have to say I was a math teacher. I was all about math and science growing up too, but I do have a love for history and language arts as well. Um, King up next, you learned the dance. Oh my goodness. Wait a second, King up next. If you learn the dance, post it. You will be the first person who learned that dance. And I would love to post a duet video. Actually not a duet, I'll make it a trio. I'll put all three of us in the video. King up next, if you post it, I'll hook you up. All right, we're done with this and that. London's already laughing at me, but we're going to get started with the actual activity. Ooh, science. Okay. I like that. So do you want to show us 
your doodle and explain to us what our goal is for today. All right, so this is the one that I made. So the theme is magic or fantasy. And the goal is just to challenge yourself, really, because there's no wrong way. Can you guys see it okay? Yeah, I can totally see it. I know it's backwards. But, like, so there's no wrong way to do art, in my opinion. So just the ideas of, you know, the first thing that pops into my mind, like, if you can see my backdrop with all the Kooji designs on it, I usually just do the first thing that, like, goes into my brain. So for this, I did, like, magic hat. I did rainbows. I did, like, aliens. So I'm basically going to give you, like, a way to have the mindset of, like, just doing there's no wrong way. Just do it. It doesn't matter if it's correct or not because there's no wrong way to be correct. <laughs> There's no right way to be correct. <laughs> okay, so basically, I'm just going to teach you how to get into the mindset of it and, like, my technique. Okay, awesome. So can you just tell us a little bit more before we actually start about, like, where does your inspiration for, for a doodle like this come from? And, you know, how do you get the ideas of what to draw next? Because that's what we're about to all try to do. <laughs> so for me, as I said before, I my mother's powered by ADHD. I've always had too many ideas so for me it's not about the idea it's about getting myself to stop from the idea so for me I always been daydreaming in class the idea of like magic spaceship uh, lost city of Atlantis I always would do that type of thing so I usually will just like close my eyes and I'll just think like I'll blank out and then the idea usually just comes to me and envision it so that's what I usually do but I know it's hard for some people to just randomly come up with things mm -hmm. so I'm kind of gonna show what the mindset of that but everything comes from my own creativity okay awesome so you almost like it's kind of almost like spontaneous like ideas just exactly. kind of come to you and you just get them down wherever you think they belong on the paper yeah okay cool and we got some comments coming in so they art is my favorite that's from Skylar and then London said I love art that is really cool I think she's talking about the that doodle that you held up just now so all right, I, I think I'm ready to, to try this. I got my whiteboard. I'm gonna start with the black marker just to get some lines down. So tell tell us how to get started. All right, so everyone has their blank paper ready, marker, pen. I'm gonna do it on my iPad just because I found a way that to prop myself up, it's easier for everyone to see. So the first thing I want you to do is, so the theme's magic. Think of the first thing that comes to mind. So it could be a magic hat, it could be crystals, it might be a mushroom, it might be a magic doorway to lock and key, it could be a crystal ball, a dragonfly, anything that you find is magic or magical, mm -hmm. start drawing it down. So right. For example, for me, I'm probably going to do this like a woodland magical thing, so I think I'm going to draw a dragonfly. So, and then connect it to it, the next random thing that comes into your mind. There's two ways to do this. I've done this before. You can either do it all busy together mm -hmm. or you can do it blank. It's just your personal mindset of what you want to do. So, all right. I have my little dragonfly. See? And then one thing that I do is I take it and then I do a random shape. And I just connect it to it like you see up here. Okay. Got it. So you start with one thing, the dragonfly, and then you just kind of expand some shapes on this side or that side mm -hmm. all right it's different for everyone because a lot of the time i doodle in class i actually am not looking at my paper to be completely honest with you while i'm doodling i'm just letting my hand move around the paper mm -hmm. and then it just happens but it's different for everyone. so just keep thinking your mind going blank thinking of something you want to put on there there's no wrong way just whatever you find magical really okay I'm going to think magical thoughts and I'm going to try to get a couple things started. And while I'm doing that, and I'm sure other people, or at least I hope other people are doing that too. Here's another question that I wanted to talk about. So you use the motto powered by ADHD. That's almost like your business tagline. Like okay. just do it for Nike. Yours is powered by ADHD. Why did you choose that? Because my whole life, ADHD has defined me. I've been in special education. I've done all these different things. It's really controlled a big part of my life of the way I think, the way I act, the way I process things. Just my overall, like, um, prediction, my overall, like, well-being. Mm -hmm. So the reason why I have it is that is, it's one of the reasons I'm so creative. It's, it really defines me as a person. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons why 
I'm so imaginative is one of the reasons why I have trouble with certain things because my brain's just a little hardwired a little differently. Got it. I wanted to do it for that reason, but also to show people it's okay to be different. You can still have a learning disability. You can still have a disability and be able to show people I can still do this. So that's one yeah. of the main things I want to share others. I actually, oh, and London says she has ADHD too. I was actually going to say, yeah, <laughs> I was actually going to say, like, as an educator, because, you know, I used to work in schools and in the classroom, I remember distinctly choosing not to call them learning disabilities, because I don't think they're disabilities. I use learning differences, because I really think that that's more accurate and more descriptive. Oh, Big Sky Worship also. Uh, why did I say worship? Not worship. Workshop. <laughs> I still have been. It's not a learn. It's not see the ability, not the disability. See the able, not the label. Right. Exactly. So I think that's really cool. And so this is kind of like a big part of your identity. It's a huge part for me. My ADHD defines everything for me. But um, I wouldn't live without it. It makes me me. So do you want to tell us a little bit about your um your logo, the spaceship? Yes, I can. So my logo is a little spaceship with a little alien. And the reason why I have that as my logo is because back to the ADHD, the idea that I've always felt different. I've always felt a little off from everyone else, like a little alien. When everyone was outside playing in gym, I would always be that kid doodling like in the library. I would always be the one with doodles all over my papers and tests. I always would want to do my own thing. I always would wear bright colors. I would always do something a little different. Kind of the idea, like, to me, that is one of the biggest reasons. And the other thing was that was the first design I actually was doodling in my sketchbook, that little alien spaceship. Oh, that was, so that was kind of like your first doodle? Kind of. I In my early sketchbook, Underwater City of Atlantis, Outer Space, New York City, those were my top three things that I would doodle over and over again. So it was one of your favorite things to doodle. Yeah. And you felt like you kind of identified with the alien from another place yes i did i hide it in all my artwork there's one of them <laughs> yeah. in everywhere there's another one of them oh uh, yeah. you yeah it reminds me of the um the alien from i don't know if you remember the alien from looney tunes it, it had a little spaceship that looked just like oh, the, the, martian. Martian, the bubble yeah mark the martian yeah the martian exactly <laughs> all right so i I got a little little bit of a, I don't know. I mean, it's supposed to be a hat. It doesn't really look like a hat. And then it's a magic one. one. But I have a beginning. That's good. So, so I kind of was a little distracted while talking. So that's sorry. okay. You don't even need to draw that much. I'm, I'm I'm trying more to create something. And then you can kind of, like, help me work on my <laughs> Um. So now, where, where I am here, would you suggest just like maybe adding some shapes going down shapes you could do like a magic spell coming out of the hat you could do um a magic bunny you could do like a sparkle <laughs> picture there's no wrong way yes all right hold on i don't want to ignore the comments here what is this uh big side worship yeah learning superpower absolutely if you approach it with that mindset it is absolutely a superpower and it's all about mindset isn't it um, and then London said, I can relate before COVID, I had a folder with paper and almost every class I went to, I would, yes, and all about the doodling in class. I understand. It's so <laughs> beneficial. I had a textbook and I would just doodle and some teachers would get annoyed. But I'm like, it helps me. They would let me just doodle because they noticed I would actually get better grades and I'm doodling or not. It just depends on the person. Yeah, it really does depend on the kid, but I mean, we talked about this before, how I used to talk with the art teacher, and he specifically told me, if your kids are doodling, they you should probably just let them doodle because they are paying attention while they're doodling. Most teachers assume that they're not, but most times they actually are paying attention, which I thought was pretty interesting. Now, I got some bunny ears going on. Do you want to talk to us a little bit about that blanket that's behind you while I try to work on my rabbit? Sure. So, one of the first, so I always entered art contests when I was little, but they weren't like, they were like local ones, but this blanket <laughs> behind me. So, it was around the summertime. I saw this competition for Kicks by Sammy, and I decided to enter it. I was like, like why not? And I entered, and I don't know why, I had, like, this feeling, like, this gut feeling, like, but maybe, like, wouldn't it be amazing if something happened and I won? 
And I remember waiting and waiting. And the day that it came out, I didn't win, but I was runner up. And I remember feeling so relieved because it was my first national contest I ever entered. Mm -hmm. And the prize is that they would manufacture your blanket and sell it for a long time. This is the actual design. I didn't win, but I wanted to order it for myself as a reminder that how close I came, how in my eyes, that's still my first win. I might not have won officially, but I won more that day than I think I ever won before in my life. I won the idea of I can do this, that maybe this isn't just a hobby. Maybe this is actually because Kicks by Sammy and like mm -hmm. the art field I'm in, that's one of like like the people that like I really admire. And that was like one of the big players. So uh -huh. he, it's recognized. So that's, this is a very, this is one of my favorite designs. It's actually this design. It's this smaller. Ah, uh, yes. That's one of my favorite. So I'm a little curious about Kicks by Sammy, only because, you know, I'm not an artist, I'm not familiar. Can you tell us a little bit more about Kicks by Sammy and who is she, what does she do, and, you know, why you think she's super cool? So Kicks by Sammy does bright colorful artwork, but she does it so you can customize it by your name. She does something similar to what I'm actually doing now. Wow. Uh, it's a little different. So she will put your name in the blanket, but she has, like, three different options and you pick from it. So she was one of, like, the big players to do custom designs almost. But I actually just started doing it where I'm taking it a little bit of a step further, but I can share that a little later. Okay, yeah. gotcha. And can you um, tell us about, so get you were runner-up in this national competition. You didn't expect that at all, so that's super cool, nice surprise. But what about after you were runner-up? Was there, like, any... Um, did any opportunities come to you because of that competition or any important connections come to you because of that competition? To be completely honest with you, that one was not the one. I did a couple other things afterwards. They got me connections, but that was not, that was like the real, like the, the shock to me that I actually can do this. But I started to enter more of them because mm -hmm. they look good for college and also to expand. Like, because it's like basically A is free advertising B. It's such a good feeling, you know, because I did other ones. Like, I designed a T-shirt for, pug, for like, a pug organization. It's such a good feeling to give back, knowing that my design is going to be sold on t shirt to help with little doggies. So, just that idea. But that was not the one okay. that got me. So, that one, that national competition was more like your motivation to, like... Yeah, that was the realization. Got it. And then some other competitions that you participated in actually have helped your business. Yeah. Cool. All right. Um, I'm not. I'm not sure how I'm doing here because I, yeah. I have some things on on here, but it doesn't really feel like a doodle yet. So maybe you can help me with that. This is supposed to be a spell book. <laughs> I think you're trying too hard. You have to like it. You, you're saying it's supposed to be a I for example the way I draw a computer mm -hmm. it, it's your own art style it doesn't have to look exactly like it. a computer doesn't really look like this it's your own interpretation okay so try stop worrying and just let it happen all right well then this is a spell book there See, exactly <laughs> just I know 100% uh what else is on here isn't accurate I know 100% uh this isn't really what an eye is looking like from a photo, but it's that's the beauty of it. So it's, it's your own personal style. Got it. All right, I'm gonna doodle doodleify this a little bit more. Um, do you have some products or things that that you'd like to show us? I know you got lots of lots of different stuff. So yeah, yes. guess what you got. Tell us a little bit about the art that's. Glasses, hello, and who, oh, oh, we got a little internet issue. Okay, so hold, no, I think we're good. hold on just one second, Allison. You were glitchy for a second. Um, and then some people came in. So hello to everyone who just joined us. And Allison is going to show us some of her awesome products that have her original art on it. So this is Blue Flappers. Um, I name all my artwork silly names, and this is one of our backpacks. Um, the blank behind me is called. Um, I've, I've got so many names that I'm not 100% sure. Oh, Mind Morph. Sorry, I have to. Hold on. 
this is read my mind. This was it was one of my favorite designs. Mm-hmm. Um, this is balloon dog pop. I do pouches, phone cases, leggings. Um, these are a couple of my other pouches. I have tote bags, and one of my favorite items are leggings. <laughs> That's one of your favorite items. Why is it one of your favorites? Because of the fact that you do not see someone wearing something like this as down the street every day. I've like been wearing them to my school, mm-hmm. and it makes so many people smile. People I didn't even like talk to come up to me and say something. It's just that's one of the other things with challenging your social norm. If you like it, wear it. Don't let anyone tell you what to wear. It's yeah. the idea that it, everyone wears black leggings or blue jeans, and then there's this. It's the idea that pushing yourself to show your wild side. So many people would like this, but they just don't want to wear it. Who cares if you, you don't need to be normal to be amazing? Basically, that idea. I totally agree. In fact, I feel like normal and amazing often don't go together at all. Exactly. So tell me, how often are you wearing those leggings? I used to wear them at, like every other day. But now I can't as much because I don't want to get them ruined, like, with paint, like, my advanced art or, like, in wood shops over sawdust. But I have been trying to wear them. <laughs> awesome. Because I love them. It's like, I don't want to ruin them. Yeah, no, I totally get it. Anything else you want to show us? Uh, I can show you my newest thing that I've been doing. Sure. So I started doing custom designs. And what I've been doing is someone requested for me to do a phone case. And they wanted their kids on it, and they wanted, like, their brands and everything else. Mm-hmm. So I started doing these designs. This is it. Um, it's not on the phone case, but, it's like, the person, the building that they got married in, the, like, location to where they live. And I started making those, and a bunch of people really liked them. So I mm-hmm. think that's so neat. So somebody just came to you and said, I would like a design, and I would like this in it, and this in it, and this in it, and this in this. <laughs> it, that's not how it started, though. Oh, it was funny, because they wanted one of my designs, and they wanted me to do, like, their monogram on it. That's okay. what they wanted. And I had another design that I made for a food blogger. It's, we're going to do a giveaway soon when the pack is trying to get us. But, so, uh, um, we be, I showed this lady that artwork, and she's like, oh, my God, I really love it. Can I do that instead? I'm like, okay. Um, all right, I've never done that before for someone else. Like, okay, let's, I actually, I can show you that actual artwork. Mm-hmm. Like that one was, so she's a food blogger from Philadelphia. So I did all Philadelphia and like local restaurants mm-hmm. and this was it. And I showed it to her as an example of stuff I've done before. And cause there's like the Starbucks logo, there's all these different logos. And I'm just like, I want that. So then I had to, I was like, okay, well, let's see. Why don't you just give me everything you love in your life and then I'll put it in. That's what happened. Right. So I was like, me, I don't fit it in there. Yeah, I was like, I don't know. Uh, sure, let's give me everything. <laughs> all right, so I'll pause here only because we got comments coming in. First of all, London cracking us up as always. <laughs> she said, okay, I'm doing good then because I'm not normal and I never was. Yeah, you're doing good, London. You're not normal means you can be amazing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Who else? The craft mask. Love that. Yeah, talking about your art. I love that. We have a collaboration coming up, so check them out. They are amazing. They do crafting color masks, so they're all like masks, and then you can color them in with fabric markers. They're such a cool and unique company, and I can't wait to show everyone once it's released what I'm working with them. Oh, so it's like design your own mask kind of thing? Kind of. It's like a coloring book. Imagine a coloring book, but coming to life on a face mask. Oh, that's super cool. All right, thanks for joining us, Craft Mask. And then um, Brandy's Bandanas, do you know that account? I not off the top of my head to be honest. Okay. If so, you do follow me, I'm sorry. I don't remember you. No, that's fine. I'm just asking because they were commenting about your the background. Oh, so wait, you, you want to just you tell them? Me. I remember now. Thank you. Um, <laughs> yeah. So this is one of my designs. <laughs> it is there everything that you see here is available on my website, AllieBrickDesigns.com. So you guys can check her out. Go to her profile. She's got a link in her bio. And Kush, what is life? Thank you for joining us. Now, I know that you like to draw and doodle, and another thing that we talked about that you kind of wanted to share was digital drawing. Yes. So I use the drawing at Procreate, and it's basically like 
drawing on paper, but digitally, but it, there's a lot of added purpose. You can do blending, you can do like different brushes. So I don't know if everyone has Procreate. I don't, it's a really affordable app. It's like $10, $5, $1 time fee. It's amazing. Okay. But I'm going to show a little bit on that. And I thought would be a really great idea. You can do a time lapse on here. I didn't know this originally. About three months in, I realized that every single time I was drawing, it actually was recording me drawing. So I actually was able to go back and see all like, so I'm basically going to show you the example mm -hmm. that I made of me drawing. So I can find it. Because I think that that's such a unique experience for everyone to be able to see all the moving around. It is. And I love time lapse. Like, I don't know what it is, but like, I'm just super in love with time lapse in general. Go ahead, show us. Ready? It's gonna go a little fast. But basically the idea of me like starting, stopping, starting, stopping. Mm -hmm. I originally started drawing a tree and then there was a hat and then just that idea. But it's just it's such a unique experience like to be able to watch. Yeah, that is so cool to watch how it just slowly fills up and then the color comes in. That's awesome. Yeah, I can make it go faster. Yeah. basically it's just such a unique program awesome and that's the doodle that you actually showed us at the beginning yes right? that's the example sweet awesome hey Mallory thank you for joining us and Brady's bandana has also said that her name is Allie too so there you go you guys got the same name actually Allison <laughs> but I shortened it to Allie but I, I, people call me Allie multiple times Yes, awesome. By the way, want to let you guys know, if you got questions, please put them in the question box, okay? The comments go by really fast. Sometimes I miss them. If you got a question for Allison. There's a comment I see, but I can't read it all. Uh, London, is that Ibis paint? Because you can do that with Ibis paint. Oh, Ibis? Or I don't I, know what Ibis paint is, to be honest. Oh, okay. So, yeah, sorry. She's not familiar, familiar with that one, London. It's called Procreate. It's, it's a really great app. Yes, yeah, Procreate, and I'm going to type it in. That's how you spell it, right? P -R -O -C -R -C -R -E -A -T -E. Yeah, there you go. So if you guys want to check it out, it's called Procreate. Um, so do you have any tips for using digital apps like that for a drawing? Uh, so this might not work for everyone, but for me, I didn't really look at that many tutorials. I just like you throwing into the deep end and then figuring out as I go. So that's what I did. I actually had Procreate for three years before, and mm -hmm. I didn't really use it. And then I started using it, like, a little bit before COVID happened. Gotcha. But it, I, it's really counterintuitive. So I use an Apple Pencil and iPad Pro. Mm -hmm. So when you press down on the pencil, it makes the line thicker or thinner. Oh. It's, it's not that complicated of an app once you get to know it, but I don't want to, like, make anyone, like, you know, uh, uncomfortable about the app because it is a little complex at first. Gotcha. But I can show a little bit of like the coloring process since I know everyone likes coloring. Mm -hmm. I just have to get one of my designs that's not colored here. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> By the way, London, thank you. Pronounce Ibis, not Ibis. Thank you. Go ahead. Okay. Um, so this is a design I made in class one day that I don't color it in, so I can show you a little bit of the process. Okay. So let's go with this color choice just want to set it up so it's good so what I'm going to do is so I have my layers you can take the color tool drag it in and I want to drop it there uh, okay it's really counterintuitive almost but I mean for drawing at least it's just making all it use a finger okay yeah, yeah you force finish the same way got it cool cool all right i um i think I'm almost ready to reveal where uh, you know where i'm where i am but at first i got a question is anybody else drawing i really hope somebody else is i kind of stopped to be honest with you since you're talking to me. oh no you i actually don't expect to be drawing because like okay. you said asking you all these questions and I'm making you talk while I'm drawing. So you shouldn't be drawing. I'm talking about people watching. They should be drawing. So tell us. All 
All right. So am I am I getting more doodly? You're not getting more doodly if you're asking. It just has to happen naturally. You have to let go of your expectations and just let it happen. Okay. I'm doodling now. This it's doodling is random. It's not you're not supposed to think. No thinking is involved. Hmm. You just do it. Thank you, London, for drawing. So just let go of all your hopes and dreams for how this is going to turn out. Just let yourself doodle. That's all it is. Just random movements. All right. Don't worry about being precise. Just doodle. All right. I'm going to start getting crazy. I know what my problem is, though. My problem is that I have an obsession with symmetry. I don't know if you've ever, like, met you someone. It. Just completely lose it. Throw it out the window. You just, uh, like, I don't care that much about proportions when I'm drawing. I just, uh -huh. it ha you have to be willing to break a few eggs to get this to work. You, just, you gotta let what happens happen. So it is what it is. And that's your art. You can't, it, it needs to look exactly like this. Because it's not going to if you do that, basically. All right. All right. I'm gonna do my best. And Simply Beautiful Designs, hopefully, hopefully they're drawing too. I saw a thumbs up. Um, all right, let my hopes and dreams go and just draw. <laughs> you you yeah. shouldn't even be thinking about it. You should just be doing the first thing that pops into your head. It's so hard for me. <laughs> I feel like if I don't have a plan, I don't you even don't know. You don't have a plan. plan. Throw the plan out the window. No plan. That's how this works. For me, uh -huh. at least. All right. You're blind. That's how it helps. And all right, let's, let's let, let me give you another question so you can at least uh, chat with these folks while I'm working on my skills here. How about um, any any interesting stories you want to share? Any anything at all? Mm, let's see. Oh wait, a comment from London. You remind me of an anime character. He always wanted everything to be perfect and symmetrical. <laughs> yeah, that's me, London. I'm, I'm so about like the perfect, everything's got to line up and symmetry. I think it comes from like my whole math background. I can't get rid of that. That's the right. opposite for me. I've never been good at math. I hate, I've always hated, no offense, I've always hated math. Because yeah. of the idea that you have to be right doing it a certain way. So yeah. it comes naturally. Let's see, a story I want to share. Yeah. Or if you guys got questions, put them in the question box for Alice. Anyone have questions? Let's see. I don't know. I wasn't prepared for, I really don't know. Um, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Or, let's see. I don't know if you came up with a good question. Oh, London, you love, so yeah, London, London loves me. <laughs> um, let's talk about, actually, let's talk a little bit about, just, I'm curious, mm -hmm. you live, and this is something I didn't mention yet. You live where I grew up. All New York. Time. Yeah, New York. And I'm curious, what is your school situation right now? Can you tell us, like, what's going on? We are in school every single day. We are in person ah. fall. And last year, there's some kids that decided to stay home. And that's going on, too. But we are fully in person. Oh. We have sport, some sports like cheerleading and football. It's not happening. But we still have some sports. We still have buses. I go to a school district that has about, I'm guessing maybe 150 kids per grade, less than my grade, one of the bigger grades. I'm an 11th mm -hmm. grader. So it's not a big school district at all. So they, we still have school and we're going in. Gotcha. So you're in person every day and just wearing masks and stuff. Yes. Yeah, gotcha. All right, we do have a request from Howard Zeller. Thank you, by the way, Howard. Um, Thanks, Dad. Phone cases. Do you have any that you can show us? Yes, I do. Wait, All right. Um, so, does he want to see real, actual phone cases, or does he want to see designs on phone cases? I would love to see both, personally. Okay, let's see. So, some of my phone cases... Uh, just to get them all out. Yeah, sure. Mile high, freeze dry. Hello. 
that was such an interesting account name. It really makes me curious what you do. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. So here, this one is called Start a Lead. It's um, Army Print. So oh, these are all available on my website. Um, I sell them for $25 each. This one is Choose to be Cool. This is a similar, this is this design, which is one of my favorites. As a fun piece, and I do do custom designs. If anyone wants a wedding gift or a design idea at all, I do that. This one I actually don't sell. I had this from an art contest I entered, and I sell it with another person. This is one of our best sellers. This is blue flappers. This is the one on the backpack. This is our most popular piece. Yeah. This one is um dot me in, I believe. I have so many, I have so many, I really don't remember any. But this one, this is our newest edition. And this one is, I can't even remember, sorry. Oh, so how cool, so this one, yeah, it's yeah, already it print, <laughs> but yeah. So it's like that camouflage army print, but then you kind of like doodled in the, the army sure. print, right? <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, this is actually the shirt I'm wearing is one of the shirts we sell as crop top. Uh, oh, cool. This is that star design. This is uh, Star Me Out, I believe. I really need to look at those names. Um, but there's actually a doodle in the stars, if you can tell. Oh, yes, I can. But and so M do you know M. Zeller? She said she has yes, one. That's, yes, that is my uh, sister-in-law. Uh, awesome. She has this one, our best color. Yeah, the, the butterflies are cool. I really like those. I have a thing for butterflies, too. Yeah. I have this butterfly one, but there's a design fun a malfunction on it. Ah, uh, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. We have lots of butterflies. Mm. Is that a... This is, is an accessory her? house. They're great for if you want to put a face mask in them, um, mm -hmm. or if you want to put a pencil case. I really find them amazing. Mm -hmm. But they're all available. I have some more pouches. This is actually, so this design, I actually have another art award ceremony tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I have, an, and I'm being featured in it, and this is one of the designs actually in the gallery. It's called oh. the Boundary Art Exhibit. But, mm -hmm. but yeah, so that's, what I basically have. Does anyone want to share their design or any questions? Well, I'm going to share mine. And I have to say, I really kind of like just let go of the hopes and dreams Perfect. on on the, the one side. So here's what I got now. See, now you're doodling. Hey, I had a feeling I was on the right track with this last little bit. So you have to just let go of what you want it to be and let it be what it's going to be. Yeah, I think path. you gotta let it go. Right. I'm trying to like fight it as it's no, coming no fighting. to like shape it and mold it, and but I should just let it come out. <laughs> okay. Um. How are going with the more leggings? I yeah. have these ones that are in where I am right now. I didn't know I was showing all my leggings. This one's <laughs> splashed down. So this is like one of the ideas of like really wild, crazy leggings. Mm. Then, oh, wait, I actually do have more leggings. Um, this is that uh, army print one again. Started oh, eight. leggings. Nice. I have more. This one's new. I actually don't even have pictures of it up yet. Um, this is another one of the stars again. And I think that's all the leggings that I have. Yes, that's all the leggings I have on me. That's in my room. Oh, here. And this is another pouch. This is a uh, piece of your world. This uh, is another one for best sellers. Cute. <laughs> All, right. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is do a last call for questions for Allison, request to see other stuff that Allison makes. Okay. Now's the time. Mm -hmm. Put this request in there because we're going to wrap this up soon. Um, if anybody here has art that they've been doodling or if you're going to work on your doodle later i know some people watch the replays somebody sent me a dm and said it's past my bedtime but i'll do it the next I saw, day yeah. <laughs> you saw yeah, that kids on there yeah 
Yeah, some of the kids that, you know, follow or like their parents follow, they're on the young side. So anybody who has art or a doodle from today, you can post it anytime this week, next week, next month. I don't care when you post it, but post it and tag us and then we'll share it. I think that'll be a lot of fun. I'm going to work on mine some more. I'm going to like get some color in it and all that. And then I'll post mine and I'll post yours because your finished doodle I didn't actually post yet. So I'll do yours and mine next to each other when mine is done. Okay. All right. All right. And who's that? Gloss by Mads. Hello. Thanks for joining us. And Allison, I want to give you one more opportunity. Shout yourself out. Introduce yourself and tell these lovely people what you do. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm 17 years old and I design things and then I basically put them on high like phone cases, the blanket behind me, couches, all different things and I sell them on my website and I have ADHD and I like to have that as a motivation and I like to also, you know, show other people that you can do anything even if you have a learning disability. Take the negative as people view as a negative and view it as positive. 100%. Our right. is available at Pictures. It. Um, that's going to be happening soon, actually. We're going to be having a art custom artwork launch and a, a framed wall art and canvas launch, but that's going to be coming up in a couple weeks. Awesome. Can I, is there a way for me to look at the comments because I saw one? Oh, yeah, you can scroll. Jungle theme, yeah, Jungle theme, you can do any theme. I've done so many different themes. Just seeing if there's any other questions that I need to answer. Yeah, that was London. So yeah, even if you didn't do magic fantasy, you did some other theme. There's no wrong one. <laughs> uh, anything else? People who relate where, oh, people who relate. <laughs> London. <laughs> London, it's past your bedtime, isn't it? <laughs> London starts putting out lots and lots of jokes when it gets later and later. <laughs> Allison, I want to thank you so, so much for joining us today. I really have to say, like, as far as art instruction goes, this was, like, super productive and helpful for me. A person who never really felt like they had art skills and who's, like, super obsessed with symmetry. But I actually think I kind of got the, got the hang of it at the end. At the end, you did. You just, like, for most people, I never had the idea of it needs to look exactly like the picture. I want to do my own twist on it. So right. it, once you let all the ideas of it needs to be perfect and, like, go out the window, it will finally be perfect once you accept it. Cool. I love that. All right. I'm going to polish mine up and I'll post and hopefully we'll have some more from other people to post as well. Have a very good night, Allison. And I hope to see you at maybe one of our events this year, or maybe you can come back and teach us something else. All right. I would love to. All right. Have a good night. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>